All right, so today I'm going to be telling you the top 10 worst Harbor Breeze fans ever made. So let's get started. So number number 10 is the Harbor Breeze eating tin. Okay, so the Harbor Breeze eating tins was, uh, let's see, I think it was sold in like the early 2000s. That's back when it was very good. But the Eden tins sold today um, aren't very good. Um, they're very low quality and they have really cheap and small motors and they don't blow a great amount of air. Um, yeah, the Eden tins back sold back in the early 2000s were good, but the Eden tins sold today aren't very good. So don't buy them. So, there's that. Number nine is the Harbor Breeze Easy Breeze. Now, Easy Breezes are actually pretty rare. Um, but they're, the, although they're rare and you really want to get, you really want to have one, don't get one because, um, they're bad. Um, um, Harbor Breeze Easy Breezes are bad because they come, they come in one of those those um bowl bowl shaped light kits and when you pull the chain on it the the pull chain falls right out of the falls out right out of the light kit and that's the thing i don't like about uh ceiling fans with um bowl shaped light kits because you know you can pull, your pull chain can easily fall off and break so yeah, yeah, that's why they're bad. And also, I mean, they blow a decent amount of air, but not a great amount of air. But they're discontinued. But the Eden Tints aren't. And the Eden Tints need to be discontinued, too. And the Easy Breezes um, are discontinued, but the Eden Tints aren't. Yeah. So, there's that. Number eight is, is the Harbor Breeze Bellevue. Now, I've actually reckoned with the Bellevue. Um... I filmed one about a couple months ago. I I filmed one in Aurora bronze one or whatever black one whatever finishes at my neighbor's house. That was that was my first ceiling fan slideshow. And um and it doesn't und you know, I figured it would blow more blow more air. And um I don't know, I felt the air movement. And I I really didn't feel very much air when I recorded that video of it. I didn't feel very much feel very much air, and it's even a small room, and it still doesn't blow very much air. So I figured I'd throw that on the list. Throw that on the list, um, and that's probably because it has a really small, cheap motor. But those are discontinued, thankfully. So yeah. There's that. Number seven is the Harp is the Cheshire Two. Now, at first I wasn't gonna put the Cheshire Two on this list, but um, then I don't know. I mean, I I I've heard that the Cheshire Two, I got some really bad reviews on them because um, they don't blow a great amount of air. They have small motors, and that's a hugger. And hugger fans don't blow as much. Air is ceiling fans with down rods. Um, and it has a really cheap motor, cheap motor too. So I figured I'd throw that on the list. Now the the Cheshire one, um, at, at my grandma's house, in the living room, um, the Cheshire ones are good, but the Cheshire twos are bad, and they're still being sold today. They need to be discontinued, and so does the Edenton. So. Yeah. So, yep. Um, but like I said, at first I wasn't going to put the Cheshire 2 on this list, but then I thought, eh, I might as well go ahead and put that on this list. So, there's that. Number six, the Harbor Breeze... Number six is the is the Harbor Breeze Vector Elite. Now, Vector Elites um, were made by Westinghouse. By the way, I think the Eden Tin was made by Hunter, the Easy Breezes 
was made by Litex. The Bellevue was made by Litex, and the Cheshire 2, I don't know. And the Vector Elites were made, made by Westinghouse. And the Westinghouse and Litex made Harbor Breeze fans all the bad ones. I don't know about the Hunter made Harbor Breeze fans. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. I don't know, but the Victor Elites are really bad because they are really small and cheap motors. And and they blow a decent amount of air, but not a great amount of air. They make they make buzzing noises and you know, Westinghouse uses very cheap materials um when when they make the harbor breezes, I've heard, so I figured I'd throw that on the list. And number five is the Kerber Elite, which is about the same as the Vector Elite, Elite, but it's a little different. It's called Kerber Elite instead of Vector Elite. And the Kerber Elite was also made by Westinghouse. And the Westinghouse, made like I said before, uses very cheap materials when they make the harbor breezes. So I figured I'd throw that on the list. So there's that. Number four is is the Harbor Breeze tie brook. Now the tie brooks are bad because they're also made by Hunter. Um, since uh, Hunter uh, made Harbor Breeze fans, it's a bad fan brand itself. And um, and I'm not even sure if and I'm not even sure if this is considered to be a Hunter made Harbor Breeze fan, but. Um, I just put it there anyway. And I actually have a little bit of a quick story to tell you about the Harbor Breeze tie book. Now, some of you may have seen my remake video of that I did a did of this a few months ago. Or uh, uh, right when I got it, I did a remake video of that ceiling fan. And what I did was um, what I usually do. I don't usually take care to like uh, get rid of that wattage limiter from that Harbor Breeze tie book when I had it on my slideshow. The reason the reason why is usually before I publish the video, I make sure to replace the light bulbs, and that way there's no problems for me. I'll still replace those dead light bulbs, and then I don't have and then I don't have to worry about like um, covering it up when I'm when I'm doing a remake video of it after installing it or anything. Well, in this case, when I did that remake video of the Harbor Breeze tie work, I, f I forgot to replace the light bulbs before I published the video. So you can all guess what happened. It started going slow on high and medium speed. So I don't actually like the Harbor Breeze tie work that I paid for. So that's just a bummer. Um, it's not a big deal, obviously, because Harbor Breeze type brooks have very cheap motors and they don't blow a great amount of air. And and um, when I was going on the internet, there were some bad reviews on them. So I figured well, I'll, I might as well go ahead and put that on a list and not buy one. <laughs> so there's that. Number three is the Harbor Breeze Freeport. Now the Freeports are bad not because they have cheap motors, not because they have a bowl-shaped light kit, but because they have big palm leaf blades. And fans with palm leaf blades don't blow hardly any air at all. And I and I've actually reckoned with the free actually reckoned with the Freeport before. Um my my nephew had um, had one in Oklahoma. Um, there was one in the garage, and the blades were sagging like crazy, and I never saw it run. The blades were sagging like crazy, and I thought, yuck. So I took a picture of it, and I thought, oh, I'll put this on my slideshow. So, yeah, there's that. Number two is, is the Harbor Breeze Baja, Baja. Now, the Baja is about the same as the Freeport. You know they they have those those palm leaf palm leaf blades, those big palm leaf blades, and again, fans with palm leaf blades don't blow hardly any air at all, and the blades can sag very easily. And 
also, with some some fans with palm leaf blades are very skinny, so yeah, that's why they're bad. And now for the worst Harbor Breeze fan ever made, number one, the Harbor Breeze Asheville. Now, the Harbor Breeze Asheville was only sold at Loaves for one year because Loaves got some really bad reviews on them. People kept complaining that. Because the Harbor Breeze Ashevilles also came in a bowl shaped light kit. And anyone who could pull the chain on that, the chain would just drop right out. And it would be stuck on medium or low or something. It wouldn't blow hardly any air at all. Yeah, so they discontinued pretty fast because Loaves got some bad reviews on them. Because they don't blow up gray amount. Because they don't blow a great amount of air. I mean, and they have really cheap motors. I mean, they looked okay because they have pencil brackets. They had a pretty neat design on them, but really their quality was just complete crap. I can't stand it. Um, um, they looked okay, um, but really they were actually pretty bad. So, thank, God, thank goodness those were discontinued. Um... But, I guess that's about it. Uh, those are the 10 worst Harbor Breeze fans ever made. And the worst is the Asheville. The second... Um, the worst is the Ash is the Asheville. The second worst is the Baja. The third worst is the Freeport. The fourth worst is the Tybrook. The fifth worst is the Cobra Elite. And the sixth worst is the Vector Elite. The seventh worst is the Cheshire 2. The eighth worst is the Bellevue. The ninth worst is the Easy Breeze. And the tenth worst is the Edenton. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and there's more videos to come.